I am excited to bring my next design team project for ASC Supplies. And as you saw in the previous video, I altered a couple of books. And I know some people are very against altering books, um, but if you have, I mean, these are books that Honey had and he, when we did some purging, was like, just take those to Goodwill. And I was like, no, I'm gonna keep some of these and I can do this. So it gives them a new life. You're still loving them. It's just in a different way than reading them. And I think they're beautiful. So um, I'm gonna show a little craft with me tutorial at the end and show you how I made the other book stack. But they're so, so simple. I started out chalk painting both the books white and then I chalk painted this one with the blue on the edge and this one also has blue underneath and then um, I dry brushed the blue which is kind of more like a teal I dry brushed that on and then I just started layering my laces and burlap um, I used beautiful papers uh, let's see I have put them away already but they are Stamparia papers um, absolutely stunningly gorgeous I let me tell you what they're called I'm pretty sure it's roses and lace yes roses and lace from ASC supplies and I will link her store and all her social media in the description box down below I highly highly recommend that you guys head over there and I never ever um, send you guys astray so on this one I I did both sides I didn't put any paper on this side but I did um, do the dry brushing and I added my uh, my lace and my burlap on this side as well here I have a, a Prima keyhole and I made that with um, air dry clay while I was camping I did a whole bunch of air dry clay <laughs> and um, it's just so super fun to do these and uh, right here you can see some beautiful pieces sorry my hands are dirty from crafting <laughs> um, these are from craft fantastic so um, I hope you will check them out as well I will link all of their information also in the description box down below and you can add these types of elements these metal elements with glass um, to your projects and just make it extra extra special um, this one I added a keyhole um, under the glass and it's just I love it because it's the keyhole and the key as well so I just um, what I do with my my twine like this is I just buy large amounts of burlap and then I just pull the pieces out and that's how I um, how I get my twine so up at the top um, this is an element that I fussy cut from the collection I glued it onto chipboard and then I glued it onto the book this is a separate piece right here and I did use some um, what do you call these uh, brads there are brads on the paper uh, but I wanted them to be dimensional so I added actual brads to that and then I added um, more of the air dry clay and voila there we go so that is altered book stack number one and the thing I the only thing I didn't like about this book stack is that they're both books are the exact are the exact same size and in the future, I will not be doing uh, books that are exactly the same size. They're going to have to be um, a little bit, uh, the top one will be a little bit smaller. But you can use them like this in a display, or you can, you know, lay them down. If you don't put anything dimensional on it, um, you could actually set other things on top, like a candle um, you know, I have a little bit, I mean, I could set a candle here, I suppose. Like if I had like a candle, I could set it on top like that. 
or you could even put some sort of like little flower, you know, in the, um, some kind of little cup and a flower, what have you, but that's how you would use them in a display just like that. So my next item, and this is, um, all of these are, are design team projects for both ASC supplies as well as craft fantastic. I was able to double up on a design team project because I had so much awesomeness. So here's the little flower display. It's kind of a, a fall ish, um, flower arrangement. Um, I altered this bottle by um, painting it with folk art um, chalk paint and then I wet distressed it with a, a cloth and kind of aged it a little bit and then I used this beautiful clock uh, decoupage piece from Stamperia that you can get at ASC Supplies and that was like so super easy and then I just used the the um, oh my gosh what is it called you guys know that kind of glue oh my gosh the decoupage glue I can't think of what it's called please forgive me <laughs> I'm having a having a moment so here are all the beautiful goodies that I added from Craft Fantastic. And this is one of their beautiful settings. It actually has a clock on the other side. And I used a clock um, from one of the Stamperia collections here. Just gorgeous. And then this one. This is one of the cool pieces from uh, Craft Fantastic. And you can actually add another charm onto the end here if you wanted to. I've got a butterfly here and a butterfly here. And a butterfly here. They have lots of butterfly charms at Craft Fantastic. And then I just wanted to add more of these pretty... Um, I don't know what they're actually called because I don't use them for their actual purpose. Um, but I added butterflies to those as well. And you could slide those up if you want. All the way up to the top if you wanted to. Or you can slide it down. And then um, this was from my stash. And I added that many butterflies because on the clock are all these pretty butterflies so that is the third or the second project now the third one and this is the one that i will do a craft with me that happened but got cut off um this is my third project for this particular video and this is another altered book stack um i'm going to show you what you know how I did this I went ahead and painted it first and then I'm going to show you from that point forward um, how I did this and it's so simple and it's so fun um, let me show you I because I wanted this project to be very shabby chic I added lots of, of laces and, and different trims and whites and and just um, like a muted ivory in there I used a beautiful collection from Stamperia called New England here is the top of the book. And then the beautiful, um, this is the same setting as on the other piece, only this one was silver and I took white paint and dry brushed it. And there are two beautiful birds, this one looking down on the other. And then I just love this safety pin charm holder. It's so beautiful and fantastic for so many different projects. Very, very shabby. Um, I've got a butterfly here. This is um, a rose. And then we have a little bird nest. Let's see, here is a wing and a bird. And all of these you could pick up all the charms and many, many more you can pick up at Craft Fantastic. 
So links will be in the description box down below for both stores, ASC Supplies as well as Craft Fantastic. And we'll do a little uh, craft with me on this particular book stack. But this is what I meant when I said I really wanted two different size books. Um, and I had to go to the Goodwill to find one this small because at the dollar store they were all pretty close to the same size books. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will let me know what you think. And I hope you'll stay tuned for the craft with me. Thanks for watching, guys. Head over to both stores and check them out. Let's um, let's do a craft with me. I don't know if I'd call this a tutorial. I have these two books I picked up at Goodwill. And you can get books like this at the dollar store. I probably would have been better off to get them at the dollar store. But I wanted one that was considerably smaller than the other. And I couldn't find that at the dollar store. So these are just regular books. This is a kind of a children's book, and this one's like a, a dictionary type of book. So all I did already was chalk paint them. And when I chalk paint them, I also paint the pages while the book is shut to give it that distressed look. I just open the book after it's dry and kind of stretch it out and then it'll look more like like that instead of like it's all glued together same thing with with this one this one actually kind of still looks a little bit glued together but it's not so i like it when it looks like the paint is chipping off on the pages so let's start with the big one. And I went ahead and, and prepped the paper that I'm going to use and cut it. This is the Stamperia New England. And you can get that at ASC Supplies. All right. So I'm going to use my trusty old fabric tack here. Look how beautiful the other side is too, but I wanted to use the the lettered side. This is a really simple project to do. Anybody can do this. You can leave a little white border if you like, or you can put it right up to the edge. I'm going to leave a little bit of a white border. All right. Let's see. Then I have this beautiful lace I picked up at my local craft store. And I'm going to put that down the spine. And you can do this, I mean, like I said, guys, this is like so super easy to alter up these books. This is a sh gonna be a shabby chic style, um, but in the video that you saw with the other book stack, you can do it in a different style if you like, if you like that farmhouse style. You know what I did? I put it on backwards. I mean, I guess it really wouldn't matter, but I would know it was backwards. Nobody else would ever notice. But I would. Okay. Now this side isn't going to show, so it's not that important. Now, some people like to um, alter their books and then they set them up like this. So if you're going to do that, um, you may want to alter both sides. But these, this is going to be a book stack to lay flat.
So we're just going to put this, get that down, and then we're going to take our good sharp scissors and we're going to cut off any excess. And it doesn't have to be perfect. The whole idea of shabby chic and even farmhouse is it doesn't have to be perfect. Distressing is good and that means if you're lace isn't perfect that's fine too all right so you can see that book already with just those two um, elements look very very beautiful um that's pretty much i think all i'm gonna do to the bottom book because we're gonna cover it up mostly with the top book so we'll set that one aside and I'm going to start this time with the same lace, only I'm going to lay it more across the top this time. I've been watching some haul videos this morning and it so super makes me want to go shopping. I should not watch haul videos. Oh, you know what I meant to do? Guys, hold on real quick. I was going to put this piece on the spine, and I need to cut it down just a little bit. But that's a nice thing about using the fabric tack is, um, you know, it stays tacky and you have time to, you know, if you forget something or you need to move something, you get a little bit more time. Okay, so we put that piece on our spine. And now I gotta put glue on top of that because our lace is gonna go on top of that. Let me make sure I'm putting the right side up. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put that on and the other book we covered the whole top of the book but this one I want to leave some of the white so we're going to leave this little strip right here and then I have this piece which I think I'm going to want to tuck that under so you can see why it's really nice to use the fabric tack because it gives you the opportunity to move. You know, do I want this or do I want this? So we're going to use this as our, we're going to use this as well. don't like doubting myself but I think I'm gonna go with using this side even though I had planned to use the other side and I know that we have this print on the uh, the other book but most of it's going to be covered up okay so we're gonna do it like that put glue here so we can lay our lace back across it and 
And then we have this cut apart from the same collection. And I'm going to put this towards the top of the book, the, this top, and glue that down. Okay. So then our book stack is going to go like that. And I want to kind of, you know, I don't know, maybe we put them both together just like that instead of like at an angle. I don't, I'm not sure at this point, but hmm, I kind of like it at an angle. All right, so we're going to do it like this. Oh, I forgot about this piece. Which way does that go? It goes like that. Okay, yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> that wasn't actually the original plan. Um, when I was preparing this project, but that's how it is when we're crafters and change our mind. So this is going to go across here and I'm going to use hot glue on this one because it's such a skinny line and I want to get it precise. have these two little pieces left that I cut off that I should put this is what I do when I come up with a different plan what did I do with the other one? <laughs> oh goodness what did I do with the other one? Oh it's over there okay So there we go, and then I'm going to use this one over here. Okay, yay! How pretty does that look? Very shabby chic. You know what? I just thought of something else that's going to look very shabby chic. And, um, yeah. Give me a second. Let me see if I can find it. All right, guys, I'm going to find it, and I'll uh, come back in uh, in a minute. Find what I was looking for. Um, and I was looking for um, cheesecloth. And I have no clue where the cheesecloth is. It should be with the white laces. That's where I've had it before. But I couldn't find it. So... I pulled out some laces and thought, well, we'll just shabby it up by adding some laces to the edge of the papers. And they'll be sticking out from the book in different 
layers. And I hope that I don't have anybody watching that is like, does not like <laughs> you to alter books. Um, you know, it, it, it gives it still a life that um, it can continue to be loved. And hopefully you can feel that way about it. I have really um, evolved in my design style because I'm kind of, uh, I'm not pushing that too far up. I'm, I'm kind of getting to the point where I feel very farmhousey with my style. And I hope that you guys enjoy that. I mean, this is definitely shabby chic, but this does not feel like my style as much anymore. But trust me, I am having fun right now. Let's see. And I'm using kind of different shades of whites and creams. And I am using the hot glue. Because the tacky glue, it, it takes time to dry, like I said. That's kind of one of the bonuses of it. And this one, I'm going to put all the way across. And then I'm going to put a couple of bits of glue to hold that closed. And I think we need a little bit more sticking out the bottom over on this side because this one's sticking out so far. But I don't want the, the sequins to show. And we can always, we can kind of Trim that down. All right. And then we'll take this one and I'm going to start at the top as well. And go all the way across with the hearts, the little hearts. I like mixing the colors. Oh, this one's nice too. Mixing the creams and the whites together. So you can just do it however you like. Whatever strikes your fancy. You could even cut little pieces of paper and have that sticking out. But I like using the lace. And I think it's nice when it's different lengths. It's not all matchy-matchy. Even though I am 
tradi t traditionally a matchy matchy girl. And this is evolving. This was not the original plan. So that's cool too, is that, you know, you can start out planning to do something one way and change it up. No big deal. I think we'll put this kind of longer one all the way across. so it's not sticking out quite as far as that entire piece. So there, like that. Oh, I love it. Having a good time. That is a really, really fun part about it. It's just kind of going with your gut, being spontaneous with it, and having fun. So that's our little book. And that's our big book. So, all right. <laughs> all right. Now I've got some crinkled seam binding here. And I got to find the ends. I kind of wanted to do ivory and blue, but I'm not sure that's what I'll stick with. Let's you know what? I feel like I should glue that down a little bit so it doesn't flap up like it just did. And let's see. to do it more this way. Hmm. I think we need to flip it over and do it like this. one color so I want to move that over a little bit I want to see both colors beautiful piece here. So I'm kind of wanting it to tie over a little bit. There we go. Sorry about the barking. Those are not our dogs. Nope, not our dogs. Okay. I need this to be longer. 
So, let's see, that's not going to, I need this to be longer. Okay. So, I said this was easy, but there are little parts that, you know, you have to kind of play with. I think this part's still not going to be long enough. piece right here I need longer and I want the bow to be relatively small kind of come off to the side. Oh, <laughs> well, look at the back. That's not how I want it to look. All right, evolution and process here, people. should give me I got a piece of lace there that should give me more ribbon across the front now and you definitely want to tie this nice and tight that's a really important part of this process and look what we got again, short tails. What the heck? So we need this side longer, so I'm gonna flip it over. And that means I'm gonna need to pull that, do that. So I'm sorry, this part's probably really boring and I'm not good at doing tutorials and that's still short and I'm frustrated. So let's proceed. I have a couple of things that I prepared. So I have this beautiful um, Craft Fantastic. This is a silver um, setting and I used one of their glass pieces and you can see there's a little uh, pair of birds. I hope you can see a little pair of birds in there. And then this is an awesome, awesome thing. Um, this is like a, uh, what do you call this? Like a safety pin. And it's got all these little charm places you can put charms on it. So these are all craft fantastic. So you can get your glass and your metals at Craft Fantastic, and you can get your paper and tons, tons more at ASC Supplies. So my goal was going to be to somehow attach these to this bow. And I had sort of thought possibly adding some flowers, but I'm not 100%. I gotta see what I got in my stash. Maybe that. Oh, you know what? Okay. I'm going to tie this one like that. And I think what I'm going to do with this is run it through like the safety pin that it is. Let's see.
Okay, well that's gonna that's gonna want to hang this way. So let me figure out what else to do with the safety pin because that and this is not want to stay tied. So we'll tie that in a double knot so that that stays like that. And we'll tie that like, we'll attach that like that. So there you go. That is our altered book stack. And how long did that take? I don't know. But really, it's really, in the grand scheme of things, it's really simple to do. And it's really fun to do. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Happy Scrappy Day. Bye.